Hare Krishna. We will proceed on our journey with 21st verse of second chapter from the Bhagavad Gita as it is. The Sanskrit verse is as follows. Veda vinashinam nityam ya enam ajam avyayam katham sa purusha partha kam ghatayati hantikam English translation is as follows. O Parth, how can a person who knows that the soul is indestructible, eternal, unborn and immutable kill anyone or cause anyone to kill? This verse is kind of a repetition of what was talked in the 19th verse. That the person never kills or it is killed. So, who is the killer? And who is killed? Now soul is eternal and the body is destructible. Therefore, who is the killer of indestructible soul? Nobody. The soul cannot be killed. Therefore, nobody. And in this way, Sri Krishna is emphatically driving home the point that the soul is eternal. The fear of death is one of the life's most haunting fears. Instead of asking, why do I have to die? Ask, why do I want to live forever? This question is reasonable because we live in a world where nothing lasts forever. Even massive skyscrapers and gigantic mountains that seem unshakable are subject to destruction. This reasonable question baffles today's prevalent belief system which holds that we, our sense of identity and personality are just products of matter. When the things around us and even the things that make our bodies are all destructible, then how did the matter that is me develop the longing for immortality? That longing, Gita explains, come from something beyond matter, the soul within, whose presence in the body is the cause of life and whose departure comprises death. This verse assures that when we realize the indestructible nature of the soul, we learn to see our present notion of death as an illusion. Death happens to our external shell, never to us. By practicing yoga, especially bhakti yoga, as recommended by Gita, we can realize our spiritual immortality and transcend the fear of death. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. We'll discuss 22nd verse of the 2nd chapter in the next episode.